so we are suggesting a new approach to this business of deliberate creating and we want to tell you something that most people have not considered and once you consider it and understand it and begin applying it to your own experience it's going to serve you better than anything that you've ever applied before in terms of being a deliberate creator rather than a creator by default if you can accept that you are a vibrational being living in a vibrational universe and that in thought there is momentum and if you can accept that in that thought that has momentum that as you slumber while you're asleep the momentum stops because your point of attraction stops when you are not consciously focusing when you wake up in the morning your momentum your point of attraction is at its slowest and that is the opportunity for you to begin a new thought now that means when you wake up in the morning acknowledge it's a new day your momentum has ceased while you have been asleep and that if you care about getting some momentum going in the direction of wanted rather than unwanted that's the best time to do it so a couple of months ago Esther and several others began doing that and on the first day Esther didn't even make it till breakfast before the negative momentum had begun again as she began thinking about things that she'd been worrying about from the day before but after two or three or four or five or six or seven days she had a better handle on it and she was making it through breakfast and well into the time that she was checking email in other words once you begin to find the thoughts that feel good and do you know why the thoughts that feel good are your indication of momentum because you were source energy before you came into this physical body and the larger part of you still is so when you in your physical form focus upon something with your physical brain with your physical focuser when you focus upon something you activate a vibration because of that focus and that activation that you've activated because of whatever you're giving your attention to has a relationship with the focus of the source within you in other words you have two vibrational vantage points all the time humans call that your soul sometimes they call it the God force or source we've been referring to it as your inner being but this non-physical energy this vibrational being that is you this eternal you is pure positive energy there is no resistance in that vibrational aspect of you you're the only one who can introduce resistance into the equation you're the only one who doesn't love you because the source within you does the source within you loves those that you hate and that's why hatred feels so awful within you you empty yourself out of the source when you find a reason not to like someone when Esther first heard that from us she said Abraham apparently you don't know them like I know them <laughs> And we said that's right because we've tuned ourselves to a different aspect of them and for some time she would say well then let me enlighten you let me clarify to you what's wrong with this but she never was able to convince us of what was wrong because the vibration of our appreciation of them was dominant in the equation the vibration of love is dominant within you you can pull yourself from it and it hurts when you do or you can relax and move to it because it's the strongest vibration that is calling you calling you so the emotion that you feel is your indication of how much you are allowing yourself to be who you really are in other words you feel valuable from your source perspective when you feel diminished that negative emotion is because you've got a vibration active within you that source does not have active so as we've been explaining this to you for a while you've been getting it you get that don't you you understand your emotional guidance system so then we began explaining to you that when you're sifting through the contrast of this magnificent variety of physical life knowing what you don't want and therefore defining what you do want you're launching these rockets of desire you are literally sending vibrational signals can a signal be literal yes because it can be read forward into what we've been defining as a vibrational reality now this is usually where people begin to stray from this conversation because now we're talking about 
things you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch but we want you to know that while you can't maybe yet see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it you can feel it this is the thing that we want you to understand you can feel the frequency of the vibration of these desires and when they first shoot from you they feel fresh and good you know that exhilarating feeling that you get when you have a new idea boom it feels so good till you remember oh yeah I'm not good at that or that's not working out for me but it is only when you introduce the contradictory vibration to it that it doesn't feel good so you've launched these rockets you launch them all day every day on a myriad of subjects launch 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 vibration going vibration going vibration going and source feeling it responding to it becoming it and keeping the vibration of it going so we've been wanting to make it feel more literal to you by describing this vortex which is a collection of these thoughts that you've been projecting so it's not a reality yet in the sense that you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it and others can't either but it is a vibrational reality and you just have to take our word for it if you can't see it and that's not pleasant we know that's why we want you to demonstrate it to yourself so we explained to you that there is this vibrational version that will become a reality once you've practiced it enough that it's dominant within your vibration and we want you to know this vibrational version that will become a reality will become a reality of things unwanted and wanted wanted or unwanted because there is a vibrational version of everything before there is a manifested version of it because you got to practice the vibration of it long enough there has to become enough momentum going before the boulder goes down the hill in other words there has to become enough momentum going so there are all of these potential manifestations just ready they're ripening for you depending upon the attention that you're giving to the subjects so all kinds of things wanted and unwanted are readying themselves for you or better said they are amassing and you are readying yourself for the realization of them you with us so far so we want to talk about that point that something that has been a vibrational reality a wanted or unwanted one moves into your realization what is it what does it take how long do you have to practice a thought before it manifests in your experience and that moving from the vibrational beingness into something that can be realized by your physical senses is what we're calling moving from the vortex into your point of attraction so then we're trying to find a way of describing what your point of attraction is it's like this place that you stand someone suggested it be called the grid like the it's like the framework of a house that will fill in with details later so here you are standing in your point of attraction and your point of attraction is based upon it exists because of the thoughts that you've been thinking a belief is just a thought you keep thinking so the thoughts that you've been thinking that you would call beliefs they're manifesting all over the place wanted and unwanted beliefs are happening in your experience all day every day so we want you to get this full picture you were sourced before you came into this body only a part of you came a larger part of you stayed non-physical here you are in your physical body sifting and sorting knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want launching these rockets of desire which are culminating in what we're calling this vortex it's this holding place of potential manifestations of wanted and unwanted and the way you feel is your indication of what's going to manifest so we've been talking to you about your emotions for a while when you feel awful that means you're vibrating at a very different frequency than the source within you when you feel wonderful you're vibrating at a similar or same frequency of the source within you so we devise this emotional guidance system to show you how far away despair fear or how close to love appreciation passion you can be vibrationally from who you really are from the source within you from the source who is becoming more and more and more as a result of the rockets that you are sending 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 so all kinds of 
potential places we're indicating a spinning disc a spinning disc of despair a spinning disc of ecstasy a spinning disc of overwhelmment in other words you're standing and it spins because law of attraction is bringing it to you in other words it's coming 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 based upon what you've got going on vibrationally so we want you to think now about what your point of attraction is and understand and this is the most important thing that you will ever come to know understand that the way you feel is your indication of what's coming is your indication of how you're gonna feel when it gets there if you're hanging around in Henri all the time Henri manifestations are happening around you all the time now most of you are jumping around a little bit in other words you don't stay only in Henri occasionally something will happen that will captivate your attention that will bring you to a high flying place but for the most part humans are not consistent about the way they offer vibration because you're offering them in response to what you're observing instead of offering them on purpose in response to how you want to feel your responders to vibration your responders to things that you are observing we want you to be the creators of the vibration we want you to project your vibration deliberately but you got to catch yourself early in the day you got to catch yourself before there's momentum already going because law of attraction won't make it easy for you to break loose of the momentum that's already going so when you first wake up in the morning and you acknowledge I'm awake Esther's been sort of laughing at herself I'm awake am I gonna get up because if I'm gonna get up I'm gonna direct my thought or am I gonna go back to sleep I'm gonna get up which means I'm going to get off on the right foot today I'm gonna to find some thoughts some really general some really simple some really non contested thought I'm not gonna think about the thing that bothers me the most I'm not gonna turn on the television there's too many things bothering too many people in that little box <laughs> I'm not going to read the newspaper first thing off because the headlines are all about what I don't want I'm going to find a thought and I'm going to start momentum because I mean to find vibrational alignment with who I am so we've been coining the phrase you want to get on that high flying disc you want to get on that high flying disc you want to get up to speed what we want to say to you is you woke up on that high flying disc don't mess it up you did you woke up on the high flying disc now you might not realize that you did because your thought was so quick to pick up on the momentum that you had going before there was no momentum going but when you woke up you were on the high flying disc can you stay there yeah for a little bit yeah longer every day until eventually after about 30 days of caring about that you'll be in control of your own vibrational patterning and once you're in control of your own vibrational patterning then you can begin life as you intended it here in this physical experience when you wake up and you acknowledge that you are awake and you begin appreciating something your pillow your bed the Sun came up today finding something that is not contested that you have sheer and utter not compromised appreciation of and you focus on it for as little as 17 seconds you've got this day off on the right foot and so that's really what we want to talk about Esther said to us the other day because now she's about 60 or 70 days into this being consciously aware that she is awakened and being determined to start the day out at least on the high flying disc and like you she doesn't always stay there in the beginning it was up and down and up and down and up and down but after about 30 days of consistently sustaining this higher vibration what she's begun to notice is everything has taken on a different look everything looks different at this different vibrational place because law of attraction is causing her to rendezvous not just with different people not just with different experiences but the thing that she is noticing the most that is the most meaningful to her she's rendezvousing with thoughts rendezvousing with thoughts that are different which means clarity is her experience and when you're walking around tuned in tapped in turned on in vibrational alignment with who you really are mm, 